Each day, health departments in Minnesota and Wisconsin report new cases of COVID-19. The Badger State has seen double the number of infections. Why is there such a difference? Good question. Heather Brown turned to experts on both sides of the border. Besides the shared border, Minnesota and Wisconsin have a lot of things in common. Similar size population, similar rates of COVID-19 testing. But for weeks, Minnesota's confirmed COVID cases have been half its neighbor. The deaths are about half too. What do we think is happening here? Well, um, it, it's a good question. We talked with experts from both states. There could be a lot of different factors. And one could be Wisconsin had COVID-19 earlier. Our colleagues in Wisconsin were among the first to report a case. Minnesota's first confirmed case was March 6th. Wisconsin's was February 5th. But there was only one case for quite a number of weeks there. Well, there was one case that we know of, but we should think of that first case as kind of the canary in the coal mine. Another theory? There may be a difference in how our shelter in place orders are being followed. Both states closed schools on the same day, and Wisconsin's stay-at-home order started only three days before Minnesota's. So there's, there's something um, to be said there that, you know, we are, we are doing a good job of our social distancing. This is tough to measure. You can look at location trackers or cell phone data. We're down, you know, 70% in non-essential visits. They're pretty similar. Wisconsin's done a very good job of social distancing as well. Both experts also point to Milwaukee County, which has 50% of all of Wisconsin's COVID cases. Minnesota's largest county, Hennepin, has 37%. These a densely populated urban settings, that may be um, a piece of what's happening. Milwaukee also has more African Americans per capita compared to Minneapolis and St. Paul. That's a population that's been shown to be at higher risk for complications of COVID-19. I think this really has uh, potentially a large effect if cases end up uh, in areas such as Milwaukee, which uh, we all know has this long history of disparity and access to care. But ultimately, like with many things COVID-19. We're really, we're kind of speculating. We still have a great deal of unknowns about this virus. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. Some of you also wondered if Milwaukee's proximity to Chicago could be a factor. Well, our Wisconsin expert didn't think so. He said it's important to know just how densely populated southeastern Wisconsin is on its own. If you have a good question for Heather, you can email her by visiting wcco.com links.